Hi, we're here to talk about a difficult but very real topic today. Perinatal and infant loss affects families all over the world, and if it hasn't happened to you, it has or probably will happen to somebody you know. Grieving the loss of a child is the most difficult thing a parent can go through, and it will never completely be over. Something will always be lost. This personal and very isolating experience will most likely forever change the life as you knew it while you fight to figure out how to bereave the child you never got to meet or the one that was taken from you much too soon. It is a long and lonely road and one that should never be walked alone. Parents, you are never alone. You will always have somebody to help you. defined as death around the time of delivery and includes both fetal and neonatal deaths is a major but often overlooked public health issue. According to the National Center for Health Statistics, there are more than 1 million fetal losses per year in the United States. Fetal loss before the 20th week occurs in approximately 15 to 20 percent of all pregnancies. Stillbirth, defined as the loss of a pregnancy prior to the delivery, amounts to 6.9 deaths per 1,000 live births. One of the biggest questions on the grieving family's mind is how did this happen to my baby? There are many common causes of perinatal loss. These include obstetric conditions, placental abnormalities, fetal genetic and structural abnormalities, infection, umbilical cord abnormalities, hypertensive disorders, maternal medical conditions such as diabetes, physical or poor lifestyle choices, such as illegal drugs, drinking, and smoking, pregnancy lasting greater than 42 weeks, such as post-term pregnancy, multiple pregnancies, twins, triplets, or more, increase the risk of fetal death. Fetal mortality rates are higher for teenagers, women over the age of 35, unmarried women, male fetuses, and multiple deliveries. Unfortunately, often the cause is not known. However, the cause of fetal demise is not determined until after delivery, once examination of the stillborn fetus is performed. process precipitated by the loss of a loved one through death. Regardless of the child's age, parents have lost their hopes, their dreams, and expectations for the child. They have lost parts of themselves, each other, their family, and their future. People experience bereavement in many different ways. Parents not only grieve for the loss of their baby and the entire future, they also grieve for the loss of their own parenthood. For example, women more often openly express their grief and are sad, depressed, with an empty feeling. Women may have feelings of resentment toward other families who keep growing without any complications. They will have frequent thoughts about the baby and a need to talk about the baby. They may blame themselves and are comforted by being hugged and hold, held. Men often are less expressive and angry and feel powerless. They may become task focused and have a high need for their partner to feel better. They may desire sexual intimacy and may have a lower self-esteem. These differences can easily cause interpersonal turmoil within the relationship. For a family who has lost a baby, it will forever change their lives and any future pregnancies will be significantly impacted. are offered.
both in the hospital and the community. Some parents may choose to have photographs, footprints, and handprints made of the infant as a keepsake to cherish the memory of their child. The hospital photographer is able to take, to take portraits of the baby as well. There are also many organizations, support groups, and books available to aid in the bereavement process. Bereaved Parents of the USA, The Compassionate Friends, Infants Remembered in Silence, and the Missing Grace Organization are all non-profit non organizations available for family support. Losing a child during birth is one of the most devastating incidents any parent may experience. Mothers, fathers, and families need time to grieve, and sometimes these topics are often not discussed. Families need to respect, support, and understanding through this troubling time. Unfortunately, as we have shown, these losses are common. Please don't be afraid to ask for help. Open up the communication. You may be surprised how many others are going through your pain. Whether it's you that has experienced a loss or someone close to you, please remember to cherish those memories and know that you are not alone. Treasure those special keepsakes, those footprints, handprints, pictures, special clothing, and memories of your child. And know that your special baby has already impacted this world and changed multiple people's lives forever.